we have Fabby Davis Jr. in the building. <laughs> What's up with you? What's nothing, nothing much, you know, just trying to, trying to. Looking fashionable. Thank you very much. For sure. Uh, I'm trying to know what's going on. What's your projects right now? What what can we look for from Fabby? I'm just playing the point man right now and uh, assisting a lot of other people in their projects. I'm doing a lot of writing. Um, a lot of behind the scenes, a lot of a &R, and just basically just, like I say, just assisting everybody else and, and being like the big brother, um, helping putting projects together and assemble things, um, advisory management and different things like that, man. So collectively, just staying in the loop. Now, I know that you are from the Bay, you've moved to LA. How was that transition? What's different? What do you like? What do you not like? Well, I've always had a spot in LA, like a condo or a studio or something like that, but I think uh, this year is like the first time that I really kind of like just stationed myself here um, instead of just moving all around, moving back and forth. And, but it's been good. Um, it's definitely led to um, some big records um, writing this year, you know. Um, I wrote the headband record for B.O.B. Um, co wrote on the record with uh, this new Loyal record, this new Chris Brown record. Um, and a lot of things that we've been doing have been based strictly in Southern California, which is a good thing, man. It, uh, you know, it's very, um, it's an adventurous journey, and I'm, I'm enjoying every minute of it because it gets a chance to go out and network with the best of the best and show that you belong. So I'm, I'm happy about it. Now, how can we uh, follow you, stalk you, you know, kind of see what, what Fab's doing? Uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm crazy on, you know, the Instagram, the, the Twitters, and all of those things. Right. Um, my Twitter is uh, Mr. Fab, M I S. T A H F A B, um, and my Instagram is Fabby Davis Junior One, and everything that I'm doing is like you know I, I tell my whole life to the world on there, so you know I'm just on there always. That's what it is. Vulnerability is the key. For sure, you got to be able to show that you know you you accessible and you touchable, and you know we definitely pushing this new clothing line. It's called Dope Era, um, and and that's what I'm taking. You know I'm from the Dope Era. I was raised in the Dope Era. But, you know, we represent dopeness, man. What, you know, is right? you dope. That's, that's what's up, about. that's what's up. But thank you, Fab. Before you go, do you have any little quick stories that you can tell us? You know, like maybe, hey, kind of like, you know, maybe like the craziest thing a girl did to get your attention or maybe like the craziest thing that you saw. Like, I know you've been around some things. So give us a little like insight about something crazy that's happened to you. I, um, I think the, a crazy story that I wouldn't mind sharing with, was something that I witnessed. Uh, I was one in, that you would mind. Nah, <laughs> look, I was in New York. Yeah. Me, me, too short and Snoop Dogg and a few other people, and um, we were chilling at the hotel, and Barbara Walters walked in. Uh, um, she walked in the hotel, and she sees Snoop, and she just like, she damn near like groupied up and was like, what? She, she slid him his number. She, she was like, yo, call me, and I was like, what? Like dog, Barbara Walters trying to get the dizzle. He was like, man, she's he, trying to get the dizzle. That's funny. That's so you know, it was just hilarious, man, to see how big Snoop Dogg was. It really reminded me that he's the Black Elvis, man, and I just was happy to be a part of that moment right there. Yo, what's going on? It's Mr. Fab. You chilling? Dope bear. I got my little brother out here, man. We rocking with Lutian, man, holding it down. You already know.